You guys, look at this sick alligator just hanging out right next to the boat right now. Woo! You guys, I am in the Everglades here with Epic Airboat Tours. I got Captain Mike, his wife Lindsay, and his first mate, helper, slash buddy, <laughs> Tyler. And we got my girlfriend Cheyenne, which if you guys have seen my old YouTube videos, you guys know who Cheyenne is. <laughs> we're out here in the Everglades. We're on a little bit of a sunset tour right now, and we're gonna go to, what's this guy's house name? Captain Gerald's house. It's the world famous Old Glory Camp. Captain Gerald's house to watch the sunset and we're gonna learn a little bit of history about this house in the Everglades as well But first I want to show you guys this alligator that Mike has named Harold. He hangs out in this What do you call it a slough? Yeah, this is a slough. All right, the slough here down in the Everglades. Where'd he go? He went underwater somewhere? Back there. Oh, there he is He's just hanging out back there So that is super super cool. So right now we're gonna go on a sunset ride. So enjoy the ride. Pack of beer. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, sweet. Everybody good? Anyone need a hand? We are good. Got it. Sweet. Yeah, watch that light. light. Thanks. Oh. And just watch, watch for snakes. Hey, so these the are all same his. Strainer. <laughs> so these are the nests that I was telling you about, the turtles that he sees. Oh. Because he has them all throughout the property. Check that out. All of these strainers right here, Mike was saying that they're turtle eggs. Are they under the strainers? Um, they are. So, so Captain Gerald has a special permit that he saves saves some of these turtles. So he actually makes sure that they get laid safe and that the turtles make their way back to the water. Awesome. And they're snapping turtles, right? Uh, soft shell turtles. Soft shells. Oh, are those the ones who will eat? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> not, not these though. Nobody's eating there, come these check guys. Out the house, guys. So his roof deck is fully open. It's a panoramic roof deck, and it's the best view in the Everglades. You guys got to come check it out. Yeah, this is, looks really sick. I know, how cool. We're literally getting the full on Everglades tour right now. Yeah, there's only one way to do it. Look at the artwork. Yeah, I was gonna say just that wall is crazy. This this house, I'll let Captain Gerald tell you more about the history of the house, but he, he built the majority of this house himself. Wow. Oh, there he is. He's over here. Thank Yo, you. There, Cap. Beautiful out here. It's gorgeous. Hey, Gerald. Hey. You mind if we film a little bit? No, you're supposed to. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Some people get a little weird about it, so I always ask. Uh, no problem here. Thank you. Yeah, everything pretty much open, so you just wander around, make yourself at home. You go all the way out and go up on the roof up there, so I believe he knows the way by now. Yeah. How long have you lived here? Uh, 13 years, full time. Wow. Full time, right, 13 you, years. Uh, if you want to see get the story, look up the Parklander magazine, May and June. They just do two stories on me. All right, sounds good. I will look that up. Yeah, just go ahead and make seven all here. Oh, Thank thanks. You. I believe it. Imagine when they all hatch, Kelly. He takes care of this, this whole island. I don't think I've ever seen a baby soft shell. That'd be so cute. I know. You Almost pet. eight years old. He fell the tree yesterday, this. cutting these limbs down off the oak tree. Oh goodness. Look, here it is. That ladder. That, oh my gosh. So this tree was actually like growing into the house. And I mean, he, he posts on Facebook, I'll send you the name of the camp. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's how I know. So every day he does updates on what he does on the property and stuff like that. Keeps us informed on what's going on out here. So he was just posting that he was trimming this tree back so it wouldn't come into the house. What's the, the, the main sole purpose of this house and why he lives here though? So he's, he's the only person certified by the state of Florida to live full time 365 days here in the glades. I mean, he's an eye in the sky. He's done so much for the preservation and the conservation of the Everglades that they literally want him out here full time. 
So lots of people coming through here, they visit recreational boaters, families, all kinds of people come here. And actually, if you come and you give Captain Gerald about a 45 minute notice, he will cook you a frog leg lunch. <laughs> Absolutely, real? yeah, he's got a couple hundred pounds of frog legs at any given time in the freezer. I'll take you guys down and show you right after. Oh, I mean, you can probably just go out in his front yard and catch him. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, absolutely. Here, come on up, guys. Oh, there's another spiral case. Spiral case. This is the best view in the Florida Everglades. All right. The best view in the Florida Everglades. Let's go. And my drone is sitting on the counter at home with fully charged batteries. Classic. Wow. You won't get a view like this without a drone. Somebody's looking up to us. Weather ever. This is I know. Crazy. You guys, the Florida afternoon thunderstorms have been real the past few weeks, and the one day we go out, beautiful. This is a super cool camp. If you guys are out here in the Everglades, you're more than welcome to stop and visit this camp. You can talk to Gerald, maybe even have some lunch, have some dinner if you gotta get out of a storm or even use the restroom. He has an open door policy. You guys can come here and check it out. Now, if you go out with Epic Airboat Tours, he doesn't bring clients here. This is just if you're out on your own boat or your own airboat that you can come here. Awesome. Yeah, he's right out front. Do you have an incubator? You didn't see it? No. Where's the incubator? That's see, that's my I wanna know more about these turtles that you She loves the turtles. I love the turtles. That is really cool. Probably didn't recognize it. We didn't walk honestly we just went to the roof so far and oh, well, no wonder. Yeah, me and Lindsay were doing some cheerleader stuff up there. <laughs> Handstands, heel stretches. <gasps> wow. So are these all soft turtles? Soft shell turtles? That's the only thing I mess with. Awesome. For years, I did many different ways for years and years. This is my latest way of doing it. It's my modern way of doing it. This way I can keep up with each and every nest that I dig. Now you notice those are still out there because they, mm -hmm. they're not threatened yet. I only do the ones that threaten. Okay, makes so sense. I'll probably wind up digging a bunch of these when that water keeps coming up. But yeah, this is how I do it now. You see the date when I expect them to hatch all nine mm -hmm. yards. That's really cool. Just like the sea turtles on the beach on the little sticks. I've got one that is not going to hatch. I'm pretty well decided it's not going to hatch. Eggs so found. Uh, too late getting to them. Oh, I see. Well, that's pretty dark. I have a ping pong ball. It's so round. Oh yeah, perfectly yeah. round. So that is a soft shell turtle egg. Yeah. Wow. Which this here has a shell the same as a chicken egg, a hard shell. Whereas the slider turtles have a rubbery okay. shell. Mm. Poor little guy. So those are not going to hatch, I'm quite sure of that. The one that's in here. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. How many nests are you up to this year? I've got to be a hundred or more by now. Wow. I haven't checked lately, but yeah, he's, I just marked two more because I've been gone for a day. Wow. The baby turtles that hatched in this one right here is around the corner over there. Oh, they're, they've Hold already on. hatched? Yeah. Well, oh, they're wow. kind of late hatching, but yes, they have hatched. I've got my first hatch of the year. Right over here. <gasps> I wasn't expecting that. Oh Whoa. How adorable. Oh my Check goodness, that out. they're so cute. You can pick them up, but keep them over the sink, over the oh tub, God. because if they jump out of your hand, they'll they're go down gone. to that crack and that'll be the end of them. Oh my God, okay. check this How out. How adorable, look they at the spots. They won't survive something like this? Oh, the gators look at this. and fish and oh, okay. birds Come on, and everything baby. else Don't eats them. Oh, they will not survive. Oh so what do you do with them? Look at the spots on them. How cool. How cute. 
This is a whole video right here. Hi, little guy. I want one so bad. Look how cute. Do you want to go walk back in here? How's your tongue? How adorable. I was not expecting this coming out here. Yeah. Not us. Listen, all you turtle eaters out there, your cooter eaters. Oh, how, Kelly. How can you eat this poor little guy? Look how cute he is. Look at that. I would like to see the baby. So he doesn't look very edible. Really? Can you get him closer? The GoPros don't really do good focus when you get close. Check it out. He's so tiny. This is so cool. <laughs> yeah, she does. We're gonna get to bow fishing eventually, but there's this water tank right here that Tyler was telling us. Oh, I just missed that. That it's for kids and drunk people to come ride it. You like won't push a... your butt on that. Get on that thing. <laughs> Watch Why? for the turtles. What? You've never Jesus. ridden the bull? Can I just sit on it? Yeah, just sit on it. You're on it, right? Oh, it is wobbly. No, you got it, Kelly. You got to jump on it. Ah! Dog can't. You fall off that thing so fast. Oh, it's yeah. really fast. on the frog and we're gonna throw them in the boat. We didn't plan on catching frogs. However, they just let in a bunch of water here in the Everglades. So the fish are kind of scarce. We're still gonna be looking for fish still, but we see a bunch of frogs. So we're gonna be grabbing some frogs. That was, <laughs> that was a awesome. nice That was yeah. awesome, yeah. Kelly. Yeah, that was sick. All right, Ratson, let's go. All right. <laughs> Tyler's ready. We're so fast. Oh, I'm up. Yeah, this that is was great. Great. I was talking yeah. about frogs. All right, so we need a light on it. Yeah, I got you. Okay. <laughs> so oh, Tyler. Obviously, girl power right now. Are you gonna get it on it? I am. That's like, there All go. Right. <laughs> so Tyler up here is a huge frogger. He loves frogging. When we were looking for. 
for fish. He kept seeing frogs and he's like, man, I just want to grab some frogs. So that's what we're doing now.
Oh my god, awesome, Kelly. Well, that was a stone. Bring him in, you stoned him. You didn't just nice hit him, you stoned him. Add a girl kill. That is awesome. That was a nice big That's target. a heck of a shot. Nice big blue tilapia. Look at that sucker. You absolutely stoned him, too. Yeah, I didn't even move. Oh, Kelly, you made my night. Thank, Thank you. you. So much. <laughs> That's you guys, awesome. it's been a tough night on fish. Oh, he's peeing. He's peeing all over your boat right now. It's all right. It's part of the job. But hey, we're about to wrap up the night. We went frogging. We saw Captain Gerald and a bunch of his little turtles frogging. We shot out a few tilapia. We've missed a lot of tilapia. And we missed a lot of gar. So Shine and I will be practicing our bow fishing. But this is probably last fish of the night and absolutely drilled him. So yeah. I wanted to shoot a tilapia Ooh. too. There was a lot of gars we could have shot at. But honestly, I feel like I've killed too many gars in the past month. So. Here's the tilapia. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Nice shot. Nice shot, Kelly. That was awesome.